Hey, welcome to the show. My name is Patrick from Slush Films, and today we'll be talking about the new Final Cut Pro 10 and what I think about it and its pros and cons, and we can compare it to Premiere Pro CS5.5. Let's get started. Just recently, Apple released the new software Final Cut Pro 10 and has created a lot of discussion uh, whether it's a good program, a, a bad program, comparing it to Final Cut Pro 7. So here are my thoughts. Final Cut Pro 10 is a completely new program. It's not anything related to Final Cut Pro 7. It has a new interface, new tools, new key commands, new everything. And uh, Apple uh, made it from scratch. Uh, they didn't continue on for Final Cut Pro 7. They made it from scratch. And it looks a lot like iMovie. And some people call it iMovie on steroids. Now through my personal experience, I've been using Final Cut Pro 7 for around a year and a half now and it's a great program, everything about it, I just love it. Now since I started using it, I've been anticipating a new release from Apple since Final Cut Pro 7 is a pretty old program released in 2008. So I was anticipating Final Cut Pro 10 and when they released it, I looked at it on the App Store and it looked pretty unique because it looked a lot like iMovie, I wasn't used to it and I, so I got the program and I tried it out and it turned out okay. There are lots of pros and cons so let's get into it. So let's start off with the pros of Final Cut Pro 10. The major features that I really like are the 64-bit compatibilities. It just makes everything really go faster and also the GPU acceleration as well as the unlimited undo uh, feature where it just uh, you can undo as many times as you like. There's also automatic savings, so when you uh, when your program force quits or something by accident, um, then you don't need to worry about that. It automatically saves it. And one thing that I really, really like about Final Cut Pro 10 is that the Magnetic Timeline is there. So the Magnetic Timeline is basically a timeline that uh, whenever you edit, uh, when you delete a track or delete a video, or whatever, then everything just stays together. So you don't need to worry if there's uh, unsynced audio or all these problems that you can uh, uh, happen, you just it just puts it all together automatically and it's a big, big time saver. Some smaller things that I like about Final Cut Pro 10 uh, are the, the labeling. So whenever, when you import your, your files, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 automatically labels everything to close up, medium shot, long shot, all that, and it labels everything. There's also the keyword search, which is really good. Uh, importing is uh, phenomenal. And there's also a feature that allows you to sync audio automatically. So say you have a shot uh, that someone's talking and then you have an external audio shot and you want to sync those together, uh, it does that automatically for you. So you don't need to you know, uh, have a clapboard or anything. It just automatically does it. So that's really, really nice. One more thing that I like is something called the addition function. It allows you to put video clips inside of places where you, you might want to try them out. And if you don't like it, then you can cancel it and you can do that as many times as you like with different shots. And then you can see uh, uh, how they look. So that's why it's called the addition function. Enough with the pros, now let's get into the cons. So one thing that I really hate about Final Cut Pro 10 is that you can't open older Final Cut Pro projects. So I have a whole library of my older Final Cut Pro 7 projects. And with the new Final Cut Pro 10, I can't open them. I have to keep uh, Final Cut Pro 10 or older uh, uh, softwares uh, of Final Cut Pro to open them and then I have to have Final Cut Pro 10 again. So it's just, it's just not good. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 is a completely different program as I mentioned before. Uh, and some, for some professionals out there, they don't have the time to learn a completely new interface, a completely new uh, set of tools, key commands, everything they don't have the time, so that's that's a con. Also, there's no multicam support, and there's no option for reconnecting media, and there's no function for the OMF and XML export. The last thing that really, really bugs me about Final Cut Pro 10 is that you there's no support for external plugins. So a plugin that I use a lot is uh, something called the Red Giant Magic Bullet Looks, and I, I just use it for color grading, color correction, and I can't, I can't uh, download that for Final Cut Pro 10 because it doesn't support it. So overall, what do I think? Hmm, well, Final Cut Pro 10 is not a bad software. It's not a great software either. Uh, Apple released Final Cut Pro 10 early and they just, they just put everything together really quickly and I don't think they should have done that. If they have waited and made the program better, um, then it would have been suitable for professionals. But right now, it's not, it's not it. 
And uh, but if you are starting out and you're starting out your film career, whatever, uh, then you should. This is a great program for you. Uh, but for professionals, it's just not it. Now, personally, I really like Apple. You could call me an Apple fan. Uh, but this release of Final Cut Pro 10 has made me disappointed and that is why I'm switching over to Premiere Pro CS 5.5. I started learning Premiere Pro CS 5.5 just a few weeks ago and I'm loving the software, it's great. Now the other option to switching over to another editing software is of course Avid. Avid is the Hollywood standard uh, for editing and for movies and all that, but it's it's a more easier transition to Premiere Pro and that's why I chose it. And Adobe, unlike Apple, uh, they really care about the professional market and that's why I switched over to Premiere Pro. Now, if you want me to make a video comparing Final Cut Pro 7, Premiere Pro CS 5.5, and Avid Media Composer, then leave me some comments below and I'll make sure to get to them. Now, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you like this video. Please leave me some thumbs up below and some comments and maybe add it to your favorites, you know, do all that YouTube stuff and uh, tune in next time. Thanks.